six. One last, Emerald one last. claimed to have suffered guys, from I'm entertained. I like this. Rett syndrome since the age of six or seven, a disorder which made her life incredibly difficult over the years, so she claimed. By mid-2021, at the age of 27, she was using her 500,000 follower TikTok account, Ticks and Roses, to raise awareness about Tourette's whilst simultaneously promoting her yarn dyeing business. Hi, this is Emerald with Stardust Fiber Studio. I am one of the owners. <laughs> I also do um, awareness videos for Tourette's on TikTok. However, it was with videos like the one we're about to show that began to raise suspicions about whether or not this specific TikToker actually had Tourette's syndrome after noticing that her apparent condition felt forced or fake. Well, and I wanted to talk a little bit about- <clears throat> Wow! 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 I wanted to talk- Wow! 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 I wanted to talk a little bit about- Wow! 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 My chat, this, this is physically painful. Holy fuck it. Never mind. When these suspicions were eventually confirmed Holy. to be true, Ticks and Roses was exposed brutally, eventually resulting in the permanent deletion of her account. This video will detail exactly how the internet came to discover that she was faking it, all beginning with a subreddit dedicated to the truth and an old Facebook live stream. We mentioned earlier that alongside her Ticks and Roses TikTok page, Emerald also ran a yarn dyeing business called Stardust Fiber Studio, which had its own Facebook page. A young On what? This a young what? What is that? Yarn dyeing. We mentioned earlier that alongside her Ticks and Roses TikTok page, Emerald also ran a yarn dyeing business called Stardust Fiber Studio, which had its own Facebook page. On this Facebook What's page, that? Emerald would dying. often host promotional live streams dating back to 2020, before her Tourette's TikTok had become popular in early to mid-2021. The bizarre part about one of these old live streams was that, despite apparently having Tourette since the age of 6 to 7, during the entire 1 minute 54 second video, Emerald didn't tick, not even once. We are wrapping up with planting all of the little seedlings now. And he's finishing up with the broccoli right now. Or In the videos that were displayed on the Ticks and Roses TikTok page, she's often seen ticking once every one to three seconds, sometimes even more than that. Therefore, a full one minute 54 second old undeleted live stream in which she didn't tick once was certainly some interesting early evidence against the authenticity of her disorder. When the discussion of the Facebook live stream began to show up regularly in her TikTok comments, Emerald actually had a pretty reasonable defense and would even respond to a specific TikTok that had brought it up. You should check out her YouTube, Stardust Fiber Studio, and take note of how she doesn't have a tick in any of the videos. Maybe you'll think twice. To which she would respond, hey, so this is a comment I saw a lot and I wanted to clear up a few things, before explaining that the ticks didn't happen all the time, and that it was possible for her to make short videos without any involuntary outbursts. The excuse was reasonable. Yeah, this would make sense, except she, she, uh, did she post a video earlier? That's like, dude, she didn't even say anything. She goes for like an announcement, and then she just keeps ticking over and over and over again. Like, uh, and accepted that, by many, well, momentarily. Shortly thereafter, Reddit would uncover another full 54 minute live stream, again without a single tick, rendering her previous excuse slightly less believable. There were other pieces of similar evidence. For example, she would post a TikTok titled Nursery Rhymes with Tourette's, in which she couldn't get past the first line of reading without ticking, yet Reddit would find an example of her reciting a written poem for two and a half minutes in an old clip without a single sign of even the slightest tick. The pattern was incredibly simple to follow. On her TikTok, the ticks were uncontrollable, yet in any other situation, they were non-existent. With evidence suggesting that her condition had been fabricated, Emerald felt the pressure to prove that her Tourette's was in fact real, at which point she would apparently go and see a specialist to get a proper diagnosis, uploading a video of her consultation to TikTok. So I know you've all probably seen the uh, chaos happening on my channel, so I wanted to show a little bit of my last outpatient consultation. <laughs> While Emerald likely assumed that this would silence the haters, so to speak, it really only did the opposite. Many were suspicious of the letter owing to a multitude of mistakes and oddities within the writing. For example, PTSD had been written twice in the list of past medical history. Why was it necessary to include that she was a very pleasant 27-year-old left-handed lady in the history of present illness? OCD with anxiety disorder is just flat out wrong. OCD is an anxiety disorder, and an anxiety disorder is not a diagnosis. It is a family of diagnoses. You would have to say generalized anxiety disorder, panic disorder, or unspecified or something. This is not how anyone would code or write this. Echo. 
the letter was certainly suspicious. However, to Emerald's credit, doctors definitely have a reputation for being somewhat careless when it comes to writing. Perhaps the doctor was in a rush and put down PTSD twice without realizing. Maybe Emerald lacked wisdom when it came to life choices, yet I don't think she'd be dumb enough to print a fake letter without reading over it at least once. Mentioning left-handedness actually makes sense if you're a doctor, who's aware that there are many genuine genetic and neurological differences between right and left-handers. Huh. Right-handed are smarter. Perhaps Emerald simply went to somewhat of a careless doctor and pretended to have tics throughout the short consultation, providing her with a legitimate diagnosis for a fake condition. Alternatively, perhaps she had simply written the letter herself in Microsoft Word or Photoshop, highlighted by one comment on the diagnosis letter video. Hey, no hey, just curious. I went to Virginia Mason in Seattle a few weeks ago and my paperwork had a different logo on it. Did you go to a different one? An interesting thing that no one on Reddit seemed to pick up on is that the genuine Virginia Mason logo has a small TM placed okay. after the name. Yet the letter Emerald shows in the photo has no TM. And if you go onto Google Maps, search up Virginia Mason logo, filter to photos with a transparent background, and look at the first image, you'll see a logo identical to the one within the TikTok without the little TM as is shown in almost every other official version of the logo. With many assuming that the letter had been faked, she would then be trolled by people making their own forgeries of the document such as this one which read, patient, Ticks and roses. Doctor, fictitious. Date of birth, who cares? Chief complaint, fraud. All of which completed in the exact same style as the original letter. After being completely and utterly backed into a corner, Ticks and roses would disable comments on the video before deleting it days later. At the same time, she'd also delete everything from her Instagram page with one Reddit post stating, TAR has deleted all posts on their Instagram, maybe? Which was then confirmed by a comment reading, can confirm it, I don't see anything on their profile. However, many wanted further punishment against Ticks and Roses. Specifically, they wanted the TikTok account deleted. Take down Ticks and Roses merch and platform, read one change.org petition with over 2,000 signatures. This disease is not a joke, and she clearly finds it funny to fake it to gain clicks, followers, that is, and even money. That is she's been selling merchandise for her own personal gain and fortune. As far as I and many others know, she's been faking Tourette's and many other illnesses with proof me and others have found. Like I said in the first part, this illness isn't a joke. It's not quirky, it's not a game. It's a terrible disease with no cure, and she's been doing disgusting things to profit off it. Many went even further by commenting on how ticks and roses had impacted their life personally. I'm signing this because my husband suffers from Tourette's. Every day, his body does things that he does not want to do. It's embarrassing and it wears him out. This person is not doing this for awareness. They're doing this simply because their business has been profiting from the merchandise they make about their Tourette's, which she does not have. I'm asking any and all others to please sign this petition. Having ticks is not a trend. Ticks are not something to try and gain attention from. This person is disgusting. And the same goes for a lot of other mental illnesses. Yeah, I have to say, some mental illnesses aren't as apparent and out there and as physical or vocal. Some of them are more internalized or whatever. It's still, it still applies to all of them. Weird. By it's this fucking point, a weird Ticks shit. Don't exactly do none of that bullshit, man. Well respected by those who once followed her content. It felt like it was only gonna it's be- not, It's not a personality. It's not, a, it's not something cool or funny. You're just a weirdo, dude. For so long until Reddit users found a strong enough piece of evidence to put a stop to the antics altogether. Or so they thought. Instead, they would find an old video which actually added credibility to Emerald, derailing the project in the short term. My name is Emerald, and I have Huntington's disease. It affects all aspects of a person's life. It causes movement disorders, such as involuntary jerking, impaired gait and balance, and difficulty with speech and swallowing. In yet another old Facebook live stream, before her TikTok had blown up, at a time when she had less motive. Wait, but isn't that on the letter though? Why? Ticks and Roses somewhat sincerely shared information about her experience with Huntington's disease, stating that one of the symptoms was involuntary jerking. So yes, I have Huntington's disease. But Huntington's disease doesn't have me. In addition to the video, Reddit users found an old Huntington's disease fundraiser from October 2014 hosted by Emerald, which stated, Huntington's disease is something that affects my entire family. My grandfather was diagnosed and shortly after my mother as well. I'm doing this walk for my grandfather, for my mother, and for those in my family that have the potential for having this disease as well. While many on Reddit remained skeptical in comments as blatant as, I don't believe she has Huntington's disease, the video in combination with the 2014 fundraiser gave her a pretty good case proving that she did in fact have the disease. However, people quickly discovered something else associated with this diagnosis that was extraordinarily fishy. In order to be diagnosed with Tourette's syndrome, you must have symptoms that are not the result of another medical condition such as Huntington's disease. Even if she does have tics, which is made to doubt here, no doctor should be diagnosing her with Tourette's. Instead, any good doctor should be telling them that their tics, again, major doubt, are a byproduct of their Huntington's. 
This basically meant that if she did truly have Huntington's, the case for her having Tourette's was now even weaker. However, there was still no rock solid evidence proving that she was in fact a cold hard liar. But people hadn't given up hope. And there was still one place from which Jeez, the they were out there for the fucking the receipts, dude. In the fundraiser from 2014, Emerald mentioned that Huntington's disease is something that affects my entire family. Also mentioning that she had a 14 year old sister. Well, this specific sister would discover the Reddit thread after it had gained international attention, after which she would shatter the wall of lies that Emerald had been hiding behind as her TikTok grew larger and larger. On the 31st of May 2021, a user by the name of Jade4101 would make a post to the subreddit titled Introducing Myself and the Truth, which contained the following message. Hi everyone, I recently found out about everything going on. I wanted to clear up some misconceptions and share my part. I am Emerald's sister and we grew up together. Although we were raised non-denominational Christian, my mother, who is an amazing woman, and I have always been supportive of Emerald and miss them dearly. We have always accepted them. They cut communication with us. We have tried to reach out, but they no longer wish to have contact with us and we haven't talked in years. I'm just commenting in hopes of clearing up misinformation. Also, my grandpa does have Huntington's. It's late onset, which means it doesn't show up till late in life. My grandpa is currently suffering from the side effects and is not doing well. It's very sad. My mother has it too, but he's not yet showing symptoms, thankfully, and I have not been tested. Lastly, I do not believe Emerald has Tourette's syndrome and never showed any symptoms as a child. They are mentally ill though. I love my sister, I always will, and I wish them the best, but I don't agree with what they have done. It's incredibly disrespectful to fake a mental illness for any reason. I'm extending my sincerest apology to Emerald. Well, actually, she got Chad's sister. sister. I know it's not my apology to give. I do wish for Emerald's safety. All I ask is respect and privacy for my parents and grandparents. And if you don't believe me, I'm happy to answer any questions you all may have as long as they're not disrespectful. Jesus. Wait, wait a minute. The post res That was, that was really level-headed. Holy. Received over 400 responses. I could never. Desperate to get I'm just gonna admit to that. I could never. the of an individual who would fake a disorder for TikTok. Do you know why Emerald might have fabricated all this? Did they have a tendency to want attention regardless of it being good or bad? Honestly, I'm unsure why Emerald would fabricate this. I was kind of in shock when I first heard about everything. But yes, they do have a history of fabricating stories or stretching the truth, so to speak. Do you know why they cut communication with you? I'm not exactly sure. I've tried reaching out to them to talk about it, but they never reply. One day we were no longer friends on Facebook and they stopped talking to me. I think they thought me and my mum were unsupportive of them, but we really did support them and love them to the fullest. If I did do something wrong to hurt them, I only wish we could have a conversation about it. My own experience with this behavior is that you know the truth, therefore you're dangerous to their delusion. However, it would be when Emerald herself commented on the post that everyone knew the game was well and truly over. My diagnosis that I have gotten in adulthood, you cannot speak on, as we had no contact, and do not blame my partners. You say that this has been hard for you, and that was never my intent. I started awareness because I never wanted anyone to be ashamed as I was. This visceral hatred has been hard for me. It caused my children's school to be called because someone said lies, and they tried to take my children. They're afraid to go to school now. It's caused my car to be trashed. It's caused me to be spit on in public, because I wanted to help people. The money I received, I donated. Stop, I've stop, ah. Uh... Dude, I'm not gonna go on. I with the Tourette Association of America. I did public outreach. I was interviewed for a person's thesis. I was interviewed for a podcast, but I asked them not to air it out of concern for them. The messages I got from people saying their child was- Something bad for something good. Uh, dude, and then and then say something happened to me because of, of that. Oh, come on. I'm afraid to go to school anymore. These mental gymnastics are like, life. or a woman brother. saying her husband finally saw a neurologist and getting help. I met friends who had the same experiences as me, who made me feel seen. Now I've closed down everything to Rets related. I've given up. You all win, and I'm back where I started, living in shame of being different. Please just leave me alone now. What? A day later, the Ticks and Roses TikTok account was deleted permanently. Three days after that, she would address the deletion on her alternate business page in a video which conveniently featured absolutely zero ticks. Hey, I was not planning to address this anymore because addressing it has not fixed it. I was literally bullied off the internet. So I do not do awareness for Tourette's anymore, regardless of the fact that I do have a clinical diagnosis. So I'm spending Damn, my time she's on my yarn business and on my religious group and I just want to live my life. She just won't let go and of it. Yeah. Emerald continues to post photos for her yarn dyeing business to her Instagram account Stardust Fiber Studio. However, she hasn't shown her face on camera since the deletion of Ticks and Roses, showing that perhaps just maybe she's learned somewhat of a lesson from this incredibly embarrassing experience. Holy. Shit, that was painful, dude. What the fuck was, dude, that that was that was a disaster.